Hi, I'm super excited about this one. Thank you very much, Black Magic, for sending in this DaVinci Resolve speed editor. Because I was talking about this on Twitter, I, was, I thought about, uh, I was talking about getting one of these to see if it makes my editing uh, process uh, quicker. Because I use DaVinci Resolve for editing all my videos, have done for uh, quite some time now. Anyway, I do. I've just finished now a uh, another second channel video with uh, the DaVinci Resolve um, Studio upgrading that uh, to do C. GPU versus GPU rendering. Anyway, I'll link that one in. Check it out. Anyway, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful, beautiful. Comes with a USB-C cable and a couple of stickers, but oh, anyway, this will be a 4K resolution. Quick tear down here, and this thing, oh, it feels like it's built like a brick dunny. There's the uh, USB-C interface. For those who don't know, a brick dunny is, um, it, 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 if it's built like a brick dunny, then it's um, built solidly, right? So that's what uh, we say here in Australia. It's built like a brick dunny, and Oh, this uh, jog shuttle wheel. It feels, this is not feel -a vision but it's got the rubber baby buggy bumpers around there. And just the weight and the velocity of that. Oh, it's near perfect. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So, yeah, I can't wait to use this thing. Haven't used it in anger. Haven't even plugged it on. Somebody on Twitter actually says it has a battery built in. I had no idea. Um, it, apparently it does. Anyway, um, yeah, so you can do, like, I... If I'm using my ATEM um, switcher and I have different cameras, technically I can directly import the files into, well I have, I've tried it, I can import the files directly into DaVinci Resolve software and I can actually swap cameras using these uh, keys, but I've only got a couple of cams. I can swap between, you know, my, my talking head, my Tagano microscope, I can swap between uh, the external uh, camera, I can s uh, swap between the PC screen and stuff like that that I've got set up in my ATEM uh, software. But anyway, I'm yet to... Uh, um, see if this improves. If my needs are very simplistic. All I do is take all my clips, whack them on the timeline. They're already in order. Then I just tr uh, trim the start and end of each uh, clip. So in and out or something. And then ripple delete or something like that. And then cut, um, you know, start, stop. And they're, they're probably the only keys I'll use. I'll probably only use like 10% of the keys on this thing. Um, so yeah, my, my needs aren't great um, uh, being a YouTuber. Oh, that's, that's almost too fast. There, maybe it needs a bit more. Oh, I can't can't keep up with my finger in the hole there. Oh, that's what she said. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, let's take this apart. So, um, speed editor. Oh, oh, by the way, oh, the, 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 the keys. Once again, not feel a vision, but this feels and sounds like some 1980s IBM um, key. And that's, the, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> that's all I can say about that. So anyway, uh, we do have uh, rubber on the bottom to stop it uh, sliding around. So yep, I do believe this one's, this one made here in Australia. Um, doesn't say, does it? Screws are out. Yeah, we'll probably have to get the spudger in there, I think. No, nah, there's more screws under there, damn it. All right. Now it's off. No, I might have to take the jog wheel off. Oh, this could be... I was hoping that the back would pop off. Let me try the spudger again. Uh -huh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I didn't have to take the jog wheel off. I thought I might have to take that rubber off the jog wheel, but yeah, it does have, and it's got a single 18650. There you go. So you apparently you can use this thing for Bluetooth. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, there we go. So yeah, 2800 milliamp hour, 18650, don't know what the brand is, uh, no, no, whatever. Um, it, it, the good thing is, just easy to replace, right? And they've they've actually integrated, yeah, they've integrated the holder on the back there. So that's really nice. So there you go, oh, black solder mask um, on that top board up there. So let's have a look. But that's our, uh, no, that's not our, that's a separate, that's interesting. That's a separate board for those? Really? Just for those? That that doesn't make sense. Why would you? Maybe is there another version or something? I don't know why you wouldn't like okay, so if you have to make your board an odd shape like that, it doesn't fit into like as many on a panel as well and stuff like that. But anyway, um that's interesting, but yeah, you've got extra cable and uh, connectors and bill of materials and stuff like that to add that. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there is a different uh, version. So that's why they separated the boards. And uh, I won't, sorry, I won't be disabling the jog shuttle. So I don't know what 
brand that is. I've got no idea whatsoever. Just trust me, it feels absolutely gorgeous. But uh, there you go. Um, what's, what else is on there? Not much. Can't make out that on my camcorder screen, but I will get the number off that and I'll put it up. We've got ourselves a little uh, switchy switch, a little uh, maybe boot uh, switch or something like that. That's our USB-C interface there, so they're just using a USB. They're getting the uh, power over that and uh, comms, obviously, so yeah, there's not much to this at all. Another little doodad there, is that just a 3.3 volt rig? Is it? And we've just got a card edge up there. Maybe that's for uh, production stuff. We've got a couple of uh, test points. And that copper there that's been removed, that's for the Bluetooth module, which, trust me, is stuck up under there. You can see that that's all on a metal uh, stiffening backing plate, which also adds a bit of heft to it as well, because you don't want uh, the keyboard sliding around when you're actually uh, using it on the uh, bench, so you want extra weight. That's a uh, little trick that IBM uh, did back in the original IBM PC. They actually put a metal plate in there to stop the uh, keyboard uh, sliding around. So I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get that off. I think the plastic keys are sort of like... Um, snapped into the metal and then soldered on afterwards is that have I got that right I think I might I think that might be the case so anyway there you go there's a little uh, Bluetooth module under there apparently so you can use it uh, you know that'd be nice if you edit in on the road with your laptop and stuff like that you don't have to plug the uh, cable in you can just charge it up and don't know how many hours of uh, editing you get but that's you know that's a nice touch. Uh, maybe I can use that myself instead of having yet another cable just being dragged around the uh, bench. But I, I really like the uh, USB-C on that. Look look at the uh, little plastic surround on there. That's for Is that for mechanical support or something? They've done... That looks like, you know, an extra process, extra steps. That's really professional. Eh? So the whole thing looks uh, really professional, actually. And I didn't expect to see anything more in here i expected a processor um and i expected a pcb with the switches mounted on them and exactly what we bought got and the uh jog shuttle is um separate so yeah sorry i don't know what brand it uses but oh it just feels beautifully weighted just absolutely beautiful look at that it just spins like a bobby dazzler <laughs> anyway that's inside the davinci resolve speed editor catch you next time